As the field of Republicans vying to win the party's 2024 presidential nomination continues to grow, more candidates are hitting the campaign trail. Former Texas Congressman Will Hurd is one of them, and he joins us now from Manchester, New Hampshire. Welcome back to the News Hour. It's always a pleasure to be on. Thanks for having me. So you are a former member of Congress. You're also a former CIA officer, and you've said that your national security experience is what sets you apart in this race. I want to start with some policy before we get to the horse race politics. Uh, you accused the Biden White House. I appreciate uh, that, by the way. <laughs> th 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 thanks for that about talking policy uh, before politics. We always start with policy here at the News Hour. Uh, but you accused the Biden White House of wringing their hands and doing nothing as uh, that Russian mercenary group mounted that short-lived rebellion against Vladimir Putin over the weekend. Why, in your mind, was intervention the right approach? Well, so, so I wasn't saying intervention. I was saying doubling down on our partners and our friends. Uh, when your adversary is in a period of chaos and uncertainty, that's actually an opportunity. And we should have been doubling down in our support to the Ukrainians. We should be making sure our NATO allies were doing the same. And I think the, the Biden White House is, is consumed with this concept of escalation. Uh, they believe that anything they do um, to help the Ukrainians is going to prompt uh, the Russians going kamikaze. And it didn't happen. You know, this is one of the reasons why the Obama administration uh, didn't want to give uh, uh, support to the Ukrainians. Um, this is the, one of the reasons that we don't want to escalate support to the U Ukrainians now. And to me, this was a great opportunity uh, when, when your adversary is mixed up worrying about their own house, um, strengthen your friends uh, so that they can push the, the Russians out of all of Ukraine. And, and the other thing that I was, uh, that happened over this weekend, and, and Tony Blinken said it on Sunday, uh, Secretary Blinken, excuse me, um, said it on, on Sunday, is that it seems that the Biden administration's goal is to help the Ukrainians push the Russians out and, and re reclaim land that the Russians took uh, f for the last 16 months which means they're not interested in pushing the Russians out of all of Ukraine, which would include Crimea and Donbass. And that is an absolute uh, bad decision and bad policy, if that is indeed uh, the Biden administration's uh, plan for Ukraine. In the time that remains, let's talk about your candidacy. You call yourself a dark horse candidate. You're an unabashed moderate, a Donald Trump critic, and a party that remains loyal to him. What lane do you intend to fill? Well, my lane is, is, is simple. It's, it is don't be afraid of, of Donald Trump, but also put forward a vision of where we need to go. We're at a period that we're facing a number of generational defining challenges, everything from China uh, trying to surpass us as a global superpower, a persistent inflation at a time that new technologies like artificial intelligence is going to upend every single industry, and recent reporting or recent um, uh, data that suggests that our 13-year-olds um, have the worst scores in math, science, and reading in this century. Uh, these are major problems, and we should be having candidates that articulate a vision and look forward uh, to the future. And so that's what I'm going to do. I, I was just in the north country of, of New Hampshire. Uh, this is uh, not the most populated uh, parts of the country, but when you go in and talk to real people about issues they care about, um, they appreciate that and that resonates. And so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, nobody thought a black Republican could win in the 17th. 2% Latino district when I ran for Congress. And so we're going we're gonna to take our message and hit the streets. To the extent that Republican voters are looking for a way to make a clean break from Donald Trump and, and to focus on the policies that you just articulated, there are other contenders who have a better name recognition than do you. How are you going to fill that gap, make, make up for that? Well, well, listen, the, the, the election, the, the first election is going to be in January of, of 2024, and that's a long way away. And the way you earn a name ID is get your message out. So we're raising money, we're building an organization, we're spending time on the ground where places work. And, and look, I'm of the opinion America is great because we have options. And we should be excited about having a number of different options, and hopefully this spurs a competition of ideas, because that's what 
what's what's made this country uh, so special. And so, uh, you know, when I had zero name ID when I ran for for Congress, my name ID is a little bit higher uh, than that uh, right now. Um, it's this is this isn't campaigns aren't rocket science. It's just old fashioned hard work. And I'm going to be willing to put the, the work in and put ideas out there. Any concerns that a broad Republican field in some ways strengthens Donald Trump? No, uh, because again, this is the, 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 the idea that you have more options is always better. I think we should have learned everybody's worried about polling now and national polling. And, and guess what? Running for president is not one election. It's 50 uh, elections. And uh, the national polls don't have as Im big of an impact as local polls. When you look at local polls, uh, things have a, a little bit of a difference um, when, when you look at it. And, and the reality is we should have learned since back in 2016 polling is just a snapshot in time it doesn't always predict who's coming out to vote and so 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 yeah I, I'm not worried about that more options is better will Hurd, Republican candidate for president thanks for being with us of course